uh, the Maconico is in the studio, uh, Genevieve is the mother and Nia is the daughter and they will be jetting off to Washington DC courtesy of Air Trend Airways because Nia wrote a wonderful essay and beat out everybody else. <laughs> Congratulations first of all. Thank you. With this thing, we will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. People of all colors and creeds live together and work together and fight alongside one another and learn together and build together and love one another. So it is right for us to celebrate today Dr. King's dream the vision of unity. My family should go to the dedication of the MLK Jr. National Memorial because we have never been to the nation's capital before. Congratulations on winning the essay Thank contest. You. Welcome to DC. My dream is to travel the world by the time I am 20 years old. Um, we're walking down the National Mall heading to the memorial. And we just passed. Um, Abraham Lincoln, <laughs> the pity man, the pity man. Yeah. I have already been in four other states and it will be an honor for my family and I to be part of history. I would love for my family to see the National Mall where Dr. King delivered his famous I Have a Dream speech. My family would be very gracious if we got an opportunity to go see something that should have happened years ago. You will stand for all time among monuments to those who fathered this nation and those who defended it. Black preacher, no official rank or title, who somehow gave voice to our deepest dream and our most lasting ideas. On behalf of my family, I would be very humbled to get to be rewarded this trip. Uh, we're at the Martin Luther King Memorial. We just came from eating. This is the grand opening of the Martin Luther King Memorial, and it looks fantastic on the side. It says, I was a drum major for justice, peace, and righteousness. Um, we just got out of the memorial service. I think it was good. Um, what they were saying basically is that we've come too far to turn back now, and we need to continue as African Americans well, Americans to continue with Dr. King's legacy. And I feel I have just the honor. We're here right in front of the White House. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Ryan. I really appreciate it. We enjoyed it. Thank you. Very much.